Wasn't supposed to work out. I mean, it was supposed to work out, but I'm trying to lower my systematic stress for all you nerds. Because I got this power lift in me coming up, so I'm just not worried about uh, general fatigue. I'm wor worried about recovering from my deadlift workouts. One more heavy one, one more light one, and then it's time to compete uh, with the homie Colin. Uh, Pennsylvania. Local. <laughs> He runs a Warhouse Gym owned by the Baileys. You guys might have heard of Robin Dana Bailey. He was on a little vacation here, so he decided to come by. Um, he's doing deadlifts and squats. He did a bunch of hiking, so he's just kind of chilling, <clears throat> getting a little bit of work in. Um, so he's actually lifting weights. I'm here getting a little fluff and puff just to feel good. Hook grip, dude. You always ask me why I don't hook grip. Fucking haters. Haters. They have about 15 minutes on the elliptical or the uh, assault bike. Feels good on my hips. Actually, it's been helping my back a lot, I think, because uh, it's kind of a unilateral movement. In the range of motion, I put the seat pretty high. The range of motion is greater than maybe even walking. Uh, so it really warms up my hips and low back good. Uh, I'll probably do that at least three more times before the meet, just because it makes me feel even and awake. Wakes up them glutes. Um, I'll probably do some shoulder press. Otherwise, I'm chilling. The Argentina game's right on, on right now, so I keep checking that score. Croatia defeating Argentina by three goals and nil to guarantee them. Don't want to talk about it, dude. Why are you going to put the camera on when I'm over here morning? I feel like, look, I grew up a Jordan fan. I got into basketball early in my life. Throw up this picture. I'll text it to you. Early Michael playing basketball. Jordan was at the gods, so I started getting really into Jordan and the Bulls. He's obviously known as the greatest. I've been a Cavaliers fan my whole life, so then obviously I'm a LeBron fan. And LeBron has such critics, you know, like, I feel like if you know basketball, you're just, it doesn't matter. You're not going to say like, oh, Jordan's better than LeBron. Or whatever. It just doesn't matter. LeBron's amazing. That's all that matters. I feel like my, I'm a little bit into football and soccer. Uh, and so Messi's my guy, right? My mom's from Argentina. And I feel like Messi and LeBron are like the same character where like, they just can't get over the hump of these haters. Like Jordan had haters for sure. But once like the year 2000 rolled around, everyone just like bowed to Jordan. Where like LeBron can't get love from like 50% of the community and my poor boy Messi can't either. Like there's a announcer, shout out to the redhead dude, he's a defender from the US, I don't even know your name, but he's an announcer on all the World Cups and, and Olympics for soccer and he's just crushing Messi. The game didn't even start, he's just crushing Messi. I'm like shut up dude, like you played on the US team when we sucked. Like Messi's good, like it doesn't matter if he's your favorite, if you think so and so is better, uh, Maradona or Pele or whatever, it doesn't matter, he's good, can you just give him that? So then now we go into play Croatia and we lose 3-0, Messi still hasn't scored a goal in the World Cup. I know it's group play and I know he's going to come out on top at the end, but it's still just, I just hate that, I hate that we're vulnerable right now. We're very vulnerable, me, Messi and LeBron are in a vulnerable state and I'd appreciate if you guys would talk to our PR team before you talk to us, alright? <clears throat> I'm just going to go eat some ice cream and play Fortnite. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> Honestly, if we would have done any more trails, I don't think my legs would have made it. So. <laughs> Calorie-free enchilada, isn't that weird? I'm coming here every day. Make me look like this guy. I got a vanilla tart. You can try it. I know you want to. Not really. Why not? Not really any desserts. It's, a thick it's pretty good, dude. You don't like desserts? No, not really. That's why you're skinny. Yeah. I love everything. Dessert, dinner, chocolate. Just fat kids at heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat a cookie. Fuel up my gaming. Pre workout. Pre workout for my gaming. How many calories do you think? It would be like Facebook articles or like BuzzFeed or something. You say like. Kissing, making out, burns like 10 calories a half hour or something. Like having sex burns 100 or whatever. Like, what fellatio, articles are fellatio, you reading? Fellatio, fellatio gives you like 50, 50 calories per hour or something. What do you think gaming does? Like I'm in there. I'm in it. Not any gaming, like real gaming. You know what I mean? Like hat down, like thumb action. Raging? Raging. It's raging. No, no. I mean there's so much action happening with Fortnite because you're building, you're shooting, you're looting. There's constant action. I'm constantly like this. We'll do a hand cam on one of our things. Well, it's the like brain this. energy. Yeah, my brain. Your brain uses gl glycogen, glucose for those nerds out there. So this is going to be fueling my game, and your your, your mind's working rapidly because there's so much happening in the game. It's got to burn at least at least 20 calories a minute. 
What do you think? It's got to. I mean, it's got to be increased from sleep. Yeah. For sure. It's got to. It's got to be increased from watching, watching TV. TV. Yeah. Highly increased. Hand-eye coordination. Gaming's healthy. You heard it here first. Look, there's a big article going around the internet saying that gaming 20 hours plus a week automatically diagnosed us. Automatically diagnosed us with a disease, with an addiction. But look, I have a different definition for you, internet. I think an addiction, if it's not making money, for one, we're building a career on Twitch. Two, if it doesn't interfere with your regular life, I don't think it's an addiction. Can we agree? Yeah. They said 20 hours a week of games is an addiction. Fact of the matter is I'm playing 25 hours a week of games. And I'm highly unaddicted. Highly unaddicted. I'm in full control of me, my future, and my destiny. So put that in your Piper, New York Times. You're not labeling me. Little downtown Sacramento. Can't wait to move down here. I do love the vibe. I like the people. I like that there's mom and pop restaurants. So I don't have to go to Chick-fil-A every day. Um, 10 days out. 10 days out, deadlift competition. Probably got one more heavy day, one more medium day as I mentioned, and then we're driving to LA. So two days in LA before we compete, and then a week afterwards. So come kick it. Uh, again, five videos a week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, twitching Monday through Friday. Hopefully we're gonna do it while we're in LA somehow. Appreciate you guys for kicking it, seeing a little bit of Sacramento, seeing my everyday life. Check out Colin, cool dude, strong dude. Runs Warhouse Gym, Dana Lynn's place in, in Pennsylvania if you're in town. Check it out. Appreciate you. We're out of here.